what you seem to be saying is that uh, gun control has racist origins. Could somebody elaborate on that? Because you, you, you gave a few sentences about it and then just assumed everybody understood what you were talking about. Star, perhaps? We know that um, gun control laws have racist origins. I mean, we have someone who's done an in-depth look at that, and I'd like for Stacy to come and share some of the things that you know about this history of gun control. Thank you, uh, Star. Uh, my name is Stacy Swim. I'm the president of the Friendly Dogger Society. And uh, to answer your question, uh, I think many of the speakers have actually broached that subject. I think one speaker talked about how the first gun laws were put into place to uh, register black folks to make sure that they would know who we were, that we could not defend ourselves. Uh, I think if you look at the uh, right after the Emancipation Proclamation, what was going on down in the southern states, uh, it's very clear that the Dixiecrats wanted to disarm black people to keep us from defending ourselves against the Klansmen who were murdering white and black Republicans to, to control the ballot box. Mm -hmm. So I think history is ripe with examples of, uh, of, of there's a correlation, direct correlation between gun control and black people control. Mm -hmm. and, and let me just say this, and I'll be very brief. You see, I wasn't always this conservative. I grew up in a home of liberals. I grew up in a community of liberals. And once upon a time, I used to do some things that some people would call criminal in my youth. You know, the Bible says that when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. But I'm telling you something. I grew up in the streets, and I want, I want you to know from firsthand experience that the homes that criminals look for to commit crimes are the ones that they assume or they believe or they know there is not a gun owner, a gun owner in the home. You see, there was a man across the street from me, Mr. George Jeter. Now, most black folks would tell you, when I grew up, if, if, a, if the homeowner had a gun, you see, they would tell you that if you tried to come in their house, they would kill you, drag you outside, and then call the police. Yeah. <laughs> okay? But the truth is, everybody in my neighborhood knew you, don't, you didn't go to the man across the street, Mr. Jeter, or my father, Mr. Swim, because they had guns. Okay? And, and those of us that were young and stupid at that time, we knew to leave our community to do something like that. So if you think for one minute that gun control is going to do anything about reducing crime, what you've done is you just played into the hands of criminals. And they're having a party and thanking the Democrat Party for making it much easier for them to take the lives of law-abiding citizens. Thank God you. bless you Thank and God bless America.